born on July 13, 1953 in Pleasant Hill, California. He was raised by his parents, Ronald and Mary, along with siblings Richard, Lawrence, Diane, and Marilyn. With the Vietnam War still active in 1971, Carl chose to decline acceptance to Stanford University to attend the Naval Academy's newly formed pre-med program in the chemistry department. At the Academy, Carl joined 15 others in the second pre-med class. He was also on the crew team during his plea beer, played intramural football and field ball in the later years. The Lucky Bag noted, the future doctor sets his sails upon graduation for Baylor College of Medicine, where surely another chapter in the legend of Carl June will be written. He graduated the Academy with a rank order of two and then completed medical school at Baylor graduating at the top of his class in 1979. After four years at the Naval Medical Center in Bethesda, Carl was sent to the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center to specialize in bone marrow transplants for the treatment of radiation casualties. In 1986, he was assigned as a research medical officer at the Tissue Bank at the Naval Medical Research Institute in Bethesda. He was appointed as the department head of the Immune Cell Biology Program in 1994 and led a research group tasked to improve the treatment of infectious diseases, a major problem the military faces overseas. The group also worked on combat casualty care, devising new approaches for organ and limb replacement. The team's research resulted in more than 100 publications in scientific journals and more than 20 patents. Carl's research in the Navy was primarily focused on the treatment of malaria, HIV, and AIDS. He developed methods to grow and enhance T-cells, an essential part of the human immune system. His laboratory experience in the use of T-cells and involvement in large-scale vaccination efforts by the Army and Navy was crucial to his ongoing cancer research. He retired from the Navy as a captain in 1996. During his naval career, he earned a Legion of Merit and numerous awards for medical and technological advancement. After spending two years as a professor at the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences, Carl accepted a position at the University of Pennsylvania. His wife, Cynthia, was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in late 1995 and died in 2001. Carl's first-hand experience heightened his understanding of the effects of cancer and his quest to find a new approach to treatment. At his new lab, he applied the same approach to cancer research that he had taken in studying HIV. Carl and his partners, David Porter and Bruce Levine, took T-cells from leukemia patients, grew them in the lab, and reinfused them to improve the patient's immune system. While continuing to study HIV, Carl and his team discovered that by infecting T cells with an engineered strain of the HIV virus, the cells could be genetically modified to attack cancer cells. In 2011, this treatment had successfully eradicated cancer from two patients with terminal leukemia. More than 200 patients since then have also been successfully treated and approval by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is expected in 2017. Carl's work toward a possible cure for cancer has been featured in numerous publications. Several organizations have presented him with prestigious awards, including the Philadelphia Award and the Paul Ehrlich and Ludwig Darmstetter Award. He has been elected to the Institute of Medicine of the National Academy of Sciences and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. He is also a life member of the Naval Academy Alumni Association. Carl now lives in Marion, Pennsylvania with his wife, Lisa. They have five children and four grandchildren. Carl's most meaningful professional accomplishments have been cross-cutting the fields of virus immunization and immunology, leading to treatments for cancer, which have proved to have countless benefits to medical research and patient care. Captain Carl H. June, through his compassion, ingenuity, and dedication, has brought a new hope to ending the battle with cancer.